recently, um, but look, she was pretty plain at Flemington last time out. We'll get to know more about her today, but gee, I think she's been cuddled by the market too much, this preparation. And five, love a zoo, next best, 2 12, 7, 5. With a tab fix, Saltair the favourite, $3.20 to set to three fifty. Commemorative just behind it is three sixty, fairly solid around that figure. Miraval Rose for Jordan Childs, Graham Begg, four twenty into three sixty back to three eighty. The rest are at double figures to Sonic Boom, fifteen seventeen into fourteen dollars has just been specced. Saltair has always shown above average talent, Mr. Gately, as you broadcast live today from Carnegie at the Ross Town Hotel. Yeah, certainly do. Uh, the Rostown Hotel, a terrific pub, and uh, they've done it up really nicely with the tab's help here. And a uh, high turnover pub. A lot of um, uh, punters love the area. Only a K and a half, I think, from the Caulfield Racecourse itself. So come on down and uh, have a pummer. There's a few going by me, and they look at me and Bucks just quietly too. So might get into that between races. But uh, Saltair does look a really nice filly. Has she got another run in her this prep? Let's hope so. Um, but she's been terrific throughout the campaign and hence made her the best for the day. Best back with the bookmakers is Mirror. Vale Rose number 12, 420, 440 into 360 as it joins Commemorative at the top, who's pretty solid. And Miraval Rose is in off a fresh and bolted in first up at Kyneton. She was terrific, looked good, and there's the clock to back her up. She went five lengths faster than the other maiden on the day, and some 11 lengths faster than older horses on the day. And look, I'm a big believer in times relative to the day ahead of benchmark, but uh, each to their own. But uh, I'm a believer in this girl's ability. She can win. Saltair is just behind that duo. 3.30 at to $3.70. To Sonic Boom, 15, 16 back to 15. Lover Zoo, $19 into 18. And at huge odds, there was a little nibble for Brazen Style, 61, 71 back into $51. Commemorative, they bypassed the thousand guineas and kept her at fourteen hundred today, Brad. Yeah, exactly right. So, look, we'll we'll see how that uh, pans out. Obviously, it's a fair bit of an easier race, so that's going to uh, definitely suit. And um, you know, sometimes you chase the big cash, it works out, but sometimes a little fish is sweet too. Thoroughbred Club Stakes won last year by English Riviera beating Mumbai Jewel and La Donsance Rouge. Sneaky five won of the year before. Swats out in 2020. California Zibble 19 and Sunlight in 18. 2023 edition with Matt. Lover Zoo is very anxious. Is thrashing around in the gates over there. Billy Egan's about to bail out. He was uh, doing a little bit of rodeo there for the time being, but they're going to have to back uh, this one out. Lover Zoo, who's drawn just out past the middle. Billy Egan sitting back in the saddle. Are well, they going to go instead? He settles back in the saddle. Maybe they're going to let them go. Yeah, it looks as though they're happy. They are happy and away they go. And Lover Zoo was one of the best to begin after all of that with Brazen Style on the outside. Miraval Rose isn't too far away and Diamond Decorator is driving through to just about dispute the lead. Divine Glory fifth and sixth with Soltaire followed by Commemorative. A couple of lengths Material Dreams and then came Just Gisella. Here comes the star. Well back in the field to Sonic Boom and at the end of the field Atlantic Spirit. 800 metres to go. The leader is Brazen Style and Slack and in front by a neck Miraval Rose. Lover Zoo is over racing and Soltaire is travelling up towards the lead four deep. A length and a half diamond decorator and then came Divine Glory. Next out three wide commemorative. Further back in the field here comes the star and then came to Sonic Boom, Material Dreams, Just Gisella and Atlantic Spirit. They come around the corner and it's Brazen Style, the leader. Kicked into gear about a length and a half in front of Miraval Rose, diamond decorator. Soltaire still trying to come on and behind those horses commemorative. It's Brazen Style at the 200 metres, led by a length of Miraval Rose, who's chipping away. Brazen Style, three quarters, a half Miraval Rose, who's going to have a real go on the line. And it's a photo finish. Photo, Miraval Rose, Brazen Style, nearly a dead heat. Soltaire third, followed by commemorative. Then Lover Zoo, Diamond Decorator, and behind the Miracle Dreams, Just Gisella. Next to finish, here comes the star to Sonic Boom, and then came Divine Glory. And at the end of the field, Atlantic Spirit. Photo finish. Miraval Rose coming at Brazen Style and they've hit it locked together. They've hit it locked together. Miraval Rose was just about to get the head in front and her head seemed to float near the line. Brazen Style at a massive price kicking on the fence and they've hit it locked together. A photo finish to the Manhari Metals Thoroughbred Club Stakes between Brazen Style, Craig Dewitt on the inside, and Miraval Rose, Geordie Childs. Heads in unison, 
and uh, this is going to be either a dead heat or a very very slender margin to one or the other this is desperately tight Saltaire brave again in third we stand by photo finish Beautifully rated in front, uh, Craig Newitz, Miraval Rose, to her credit. Boy, she's got some talent, this lightly raced filly at her third race start. She's continued to chase, and a great finish between Brazen Style, Shane Nichols, and Miraval Rose, Graham Begg. A photo finish to the running of race number four. And usually we get a look at the photo, but uh, they haven't shown us, which would tend to suggest that this is desperately, desperately close. This might take uh, some time here between Brazen Style and also Miraval Rose. 13 on the inside, 12 on the outside, still no verdict. And as Matt said, still no sign of that photo. Two runs third, sold air after covering ground and uh, commemorative should be fourth. That is desperately close, 12 and 13, 13 and 12, sweating on the verdict of race number four from Caulfield. While we're waiting, second event at Kembla Grange, 60 seconds away against the law. Resumes off a debut fifth behind the now Group 1 winning Osmosis at Randwick in a Saturday race, beaten 5.2 by Bryce, trained by Bryce Hayes and Brandon Lorena to steer. It's $2.50 this morning, late $2.15, back out to $2.30. And then In My Dreams for Christian Reith and Michael Friedman, $3.70 out to $4.20. Invade and Conquer number three is best back to roll both, place two of three in its debut preparation as it returns. For Robert and Luke Price, it's $8.50 into $4.60. Spirit Chaser, $4.00. 440 out to $7 as the other one in single figure. Still no verdict at Caulfield. To the bookies against the law at Kembla, 215 out to 230. And Invade and Conquer, 7 into 440 attracts very good interest everywhere to beat it. In My Dreams is just ahead of it and he's 4 into 390 back to $4.20. Spirit Chaser is 5 out to 650. And Via Varello is 31 into $26 and specked at longer odds. And on the second, Wayne Harris is with against the law number two. And Ben Hall is an Invade and Conquer man, 3, 2, 5, and 8. Still no verdict at Caulfield. Longer that goes. It's tumbling into odds on perhaps a dead heat there between 12 and 13 as we take you to Ben at Kembla. Patrons here on track today. 